doing a little cinematic. Okay, if I remember correctly, it's just we're doing like a little mission, job, whatever you want to call it, where we're just killing these bandits. So don't worry, they're all bad guys. They deserve to die, right? <laughs> Democracy and Fire Emblem! <laughs> Get some good trumpet. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna liken this to Pokemon again. But also like Pokemon, uh, weapons have kind of like a type triangle. Like, you know, fire, water, and uh, grass had in Pokemon. Well, sword beats... Wow, why do I have so many iron swords? And doesn't he normally have, like, something like a regal sword or something? I thought he started out with something besides an iron sword. Oh, well. Anyways, you can see the little green and red arrow things. I probably could have explained this with Boyd, but that basically means I have an advantage over his axe. So sword beats axe, uh, lance beats sword, axe beats lance. So, basically... He has a really uh, low hit rate, and now I can sometimes hit times two by my speed stat. So, in this case, Ike has a really high speed stat, because that's just the type of character he is. Um, later on, we'll get like these big, bulky, armored characters, and they'll almost never hit twice, because they have a lower speed stat. Um, there's a guy with a sword. I don't want him to attack Boyd. Okay. Neato. Hmm. Uh, going back to the subject of Awakening, I actually just now <laughs> am able to start playing Awakening, because uh, my little brother bought it when it first came out, and I, and he was like, oh, okay, when I'm, why is not letting me get off from it? Oh, push B, alright, I, I keep pushing A, sorry. Um, and he was like, ah, just done with it, Derek, and then, uh, I'll let you play it. Does he... Okay, just Iron Lance. Alright. And so I'm like, okay, sure. And then I'd be like, hey, Noah, are you done yet? And he was never done. Oh, uh, yeah. Oscar just has to attack at, a t at an disadvantage in this map because everything's got an axe except for that Sword Bro. Which hopefully the Sword Bro comes and attacks Oscar because then that'd be nice for Oscar. Oscar can get some nice EXP. Um. I'll get back to the Awakening thing later, but Oscar is a Cavalier, and what Cavalier's class changed into in this game is Paladin, which is what Titania is. Why did I do the zoom thing? <laughs> um, I don't want Ike to get attacked by both of those guys, so if I put Titania here, then odds are... They're going to attack Oscar, in which case Oscar's advantage over one of them, and I'm pretty sure he can tank the Axe guy just in case. So I think I'm good for this map. I'm already pretty much halfway there. Um, what is it? Oh yeah, the Awakening thing I was talking about. What was he even saying about that? Oh yeah, my little brother. <laughs> he, uh... Every single time I'd want to play it, because he'd go, like, months without playing it, and then whenever I'd ask about it, he'd be like, oh, no, I'm still in the middle of it. Um, because what he... Oh, man, that's depressing, because there's nothing you can do about that particular house. Anyways, uh, what he does when he plays Fire Emblem is, like, if there's a way to grind or manipulate the game, or, like, check stuff online in some cases, he'll do it. He's Mr. I'm gonna exploit stuff, but I'm not willing to find the exploits by myself. I'll do it either by grinding, or I'll look up someone else's strategy guide. Which really irritates me, because I want to be a game developer, and I, I don't like people that go and break games. You can play a game how you want, but just don't deliberately try and put into it yourself. And so it really, really irritates me. Anyways, so what he'd do is, like, there's this support system where you can basically ship characters together. And then their future selves will get married. Or maybe the marriage is once they get S-ranked. I don't, I don't know. 
Um, and then there's like a time travel element where their kids will actually come back from the future. And then the kids will have traits based off from the parents. So basically, you're selective breeding these characters together so their offsprings will be more OP and then you go off and grind for like days on end and it just gets ridiculously time consuming and complicated and just I don't know I don't like his playstyle I've already said that so because <laughs> again this just seems way it rather it seems way too complicated what he was doing with all the weird time travel stuff. I don't know. You can see why it took him forever. And so, I, uh, multiple years later, I think it's been multiple years later. Maybe it has only been a year. I don't remember. But, because I know Awakening came out when I was in high school. So it's been at least a year. Probably close to two years by now. Nah, that's dumb. He's only at 12 HP. I almost did a dumb... I'm out, and I might be at a type disadvantage too. Shoot. Where do I want to move him? I guess I could just leave him here. Maybe I should just move him off to the side, out of everyone's way. Why not? Um, no, that's another thing about Cavaliers. They can move uh, after they attack. In this particular game, anyway. In most other games, they can't. Fire Emblem is constantly making changes to their formula. It's. I mean. What can Ike do? Can Ike kill one but not the other? Nine times two. Oh, that one's already low. What about this guy? Eight times two. All right. So Ike would need help here. I'll let Boyd smack this guy. Ooh. I guess I will have to kill the other guy with Titania then. I didn't realize Ike was gonna take. I was I was dumb and not paying attention to the damage amount. Um. This guy will probably give Boyd more EXP. We'll have Boyd kill this one then. Oh boy, oh boy. Just don't miss Boyd. <laughs> uh, that's another thing. In most Fremlin games, axe wheels are notorious for missing when you don't want them to miss. Like, they have the worst accuracy ever. And it's really irritating because it doesn't make much sense to me why they'd have such bad accuracy. But see, this one I'm talking about is Titania being OP. Even with the weaker of her two weapons, she's still doing times two. Oh, and she gets a crit, too. Alright, well, enjoy. Anyways, Titania, early game is OP, but again, she only got one EXP from that, whereas other characters, that would have, like, filled up half their bar. So you can see why it's good not to use Titania. In this case, I had to, because otherwise Ike would have died had that guy decided to target Ike and then also hit. Just not a risk I'm willing to take. Um... I don't think... No, she'll hit times two. Okay, I was going to say I could maybe use her as a lure for those other guys up there, but... Oh, boy. Dang it. Uh, let me double check. How much damage can that guy do? Seven. All right, he can indeed kill Ike. Ike will have to pull right up. Um, Boyd is at 14. What if I just block the door? And then... No, then he'd kill me during enemy phase if he doesn't miss. I'm just gonna visit, not attack. Then he'll go during his enemy phase, attack me, and then I'll be able to swing back and kill him, I think. Let me double check. Yeah. Provided that none of us miss. That would throw everything off if one of us or both of us misses. Um... I think they give me items. Yeah, yeah. Visiting houses and saving them from the bandits usually gives you item. I think Seraph Robe increases speed. What button do I push to... No, oh, that's the button. I... I'm getting used to the buttons on the GameCube again. Where's the... Help. Okay. Now, oh, increases HP. Alright, that's good, too. Oh, what's this guy saying that? Okay. Yeah, well... What's Oscar at? Uh, 12? Can I not kill this guy, Titania? Nope, she's gonna kill the guy. So I either have to have Oscar solo it, or... Uh, maybe I can use Ike to finish him off, if that's close enough. I'll do 18 at 80%. 
Oh, but then Oscar will be at five, and this guy can probably do five. Even though he'll be at a disadvantage, he'll probably still be able to do five. Looks like I have to rely on Titania again. Great. Okay. I'm gonna turn off you. So Oscar's in range. Let me lure. Yeah. That guy can kill like. Stop it. Nah. Uh, yeah. So Ike's just barely in range. If I move Ike here, Ike should be good. And what's this guy's distance? Movement of five. One, two, three, four, five. So right there he'd be able to hit. Alright, I think everyone's safe. Yes, alright. Nice. I don't even have to worry now, because the guy missed in the first place, so now, even if Boyd misses, Boyd will still probably... Well, no, then I'll just be in the same situation as before. I'll have Titania bail Boyd out if Boyd messes up here. He's got an 80%. Normally, that'd be fine. I'm playing on hard mode, so sometimes BS happens more often, but... In this case, I was fine. I've had times where I've had a 98% hit rate, and I've missed. And then my opponent has had, like, less than 10, and then they've hit. On the same turn, I've had scenarios like that. They're just, like, really extreme and ridiculous. And it's just like, what in the world? Ah! It's really irritating. That's why I both love and hate playing this game on hard mode. Oh, why did I move Ike here and not use a Vulnerary? Oh, it's probably because he doesn't have a Vulnerary. Does he have a Vulnerary? Oh, he does. Oh, it does cover, carry over from the last thing. Okay. Does Titania have vulnerabilities? Alright, I'll just trade hers over to Ike then. How much can Ike do again? What was our verdict on this? Eight. Because odds are uh, the other guy will hit. So, 18. That'll leave the guy at... Nine, I believe. I think, yeah, sorry, math, not working. <laughs> so Ike would needed to have been at HP for that, which I just fudged that up, because he could have been at a safe amount of HP had I done the vulnerary, but now I goofed. Um, he does have a 50% hit rate, or hit chance, I could risk it. I... Yeah, he's my lord character anyways. If he dies, I just need to restart, and I'll just skip to a good point like this, so... I'll risk it with, like... Come, Oscar. Oh, shoot, I didn't check how much he could do to Oscar. Okay, he missed anyway, so it was fine. Actually, no, better solution. Uh, Oscar, you... Move here, because I think that's still out of range of the Swordsman. And then I don't think the Bandit can one-shot Oscar from that amount of HP. Boyd is safe, as long as I keep Titania there. I don't think... Is she even hindering his movement at all? Probably not. Anyways, and then he'll attack either Ike or Oscar, so one of them will get the XP for it during the next turn. And with this, he won't be able to kill Ike anymore. I doubt he can kill Oscar right now. So I should hopefully be a-okay. There we go. Oh. Oops. I fucked up. Oh, well. At least I didn't lose a character. I just lost whatever nice item was in there. Okay, Oscar, you've got bigger range than I can get you leveled up. See, that's another thing about Fire Emblem is oftentimes, even if you think you're making the right decision, there's usually some kind of oversight that you've already messed up at. So, there oftentimes isn't always a right decision. Because... In that case, the right decision probably was to risk Ike, considering he's the Lord character, and I just restarted. 
but I totally thought that I could like cheese it and just be like, oh yeah, I can two birds, one stone, make it so I gets the XP and uh, the guy dies, but and then I didn't realize that that hut was going to die. In case you're wondering, you can't go in this hut because the door is closed. And after you do a visit, the door closes, and then it can't be burned down anymore. And considering I, I started down here, I totally forgot that you could visit in this game. I thought that was just an old GBA mechanic. I thought they'd removed it in this game, but I was wrong. whoop de doo I don't want Void to get hit. And Void, you can just stand there and look pretty. Yeah, I wish I could move Oscar. Ah, whatever, I can take a hit. Hold on, what's, what's Oscar's range? I want to make sure that... Stop it. Wrong one. Uh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, here and here is where that guy can hit. So if I move him... Oh, I like I have a hand axe. No, stop it. I See, okay. It should be fine here then. And just in case, Titania is at the ready. Ah, man. Moved to the one spot I didn't want to move. Now Oscar can't get to him. <laughs> and all those other sighs of disappointment that I can do. Uh, I guess I could just take out the boss of Titania. Or I can just wait a turn and just move everyone back again. Because I think Ike's safe. I'm taking another hit. Yeah, Ike's safe. Ike's fine. <sighs> Man. Oh well, Boyd can kill him. Oh, Boyd will probably miss, but if Boyd doesn't miss, then Boyd's Boyd can straight up kill him, not even without Ike's help. I was gonna hit him once with Ike and then have Boyd up there. I was just moving Boyd up there for curiosity's sake, but it turns out Boyd can actually kill him. Good job, Boyd. You didn't miss. 60% and no misses so far. I was expecting a miss. But then again, that's because I'm paranoid. So. <laughs> Another iron sword that nobody needs. Actually, no, Oscar needs that. Uh, Cavaliers can use both uh, lances and swords. And when they turn into a paladin, then they can also use axes. I think. I know that's how it works in the older games. I don't know if it works that way in this game as well. Um, Titania might just be special. How much damage can the boss do to Ike? Six times two versus seven, so he would be able to kill Ike should he hit both this turn and next turn. So I'm gonna do the thing where uh, I'm just gonna heal up, stand right for the boss, and then just let him swing away. And then I can kill him next turn, probably. Come at me, bro. Hey, you're nothing but a boy. Well, every brat needs a beating now and then. Are you ready for it? Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. You sassing me. Don't that beat all. Okay, I don't think Ike can actually kill him, but considering that he missed, Ike should be good to go for next turn. Yeah, 17 times 2 is just 14. I can live him if he uh, hits me next turn. So I'm good to go, bro. Yo, Ike, why you keep sassing that guy? Why'd I give him, like, this smoker-type wheeze voice anyways? Oh well, I guess it kinda fits. He's a bad guy. It kinda sounds like a bad guy voice. Kinda. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, they're brothers. Uh, in Fire Emblem, oftentimes if they have similar or the same colored hair, it usually means they're related. 
in this case like it's kind of a stretch because the the green is like pretty far off and the facial structure is a little bit different but they are indeed brothers I think I don't know if it's support related or not but I know at one point they can actually do like this giant combo attack together there, there's a third brother by the way uh, his name is Rolf or Ralph I think it's Rolf but he uses a bow Ah, I didn't have to waste that vulnerary, considering that he missed. But it's better to be safe. Considering this was the very end of the level. Discard item. Not send to pack? Not to send not 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 send to storage? That sucks. If I had known that I would have traded with uh, one of my brosifs. Because if I had a spare iron sword, I could have just given that to Oscar. Oh, now I gotta get rid of an iron sword. Or, or I could just get rid of the iron axe, but I have a crap ton of iron swords, so I might as well just get rid of an iron sword then. Which is a bit of a bummer, but whatever. I totally forgot to do what I was gonna do, which was trade. Oh. Can Cavaliers not use swords? Okay, that's the lowest thing of swords. Where does it say what they can use? Bjork, Knight... Yeah, it's just Lance. That's really weird. Well, whatever. <sighs> Did I mention it's been maybe five years? So, I'm liable to forget a few things. <laughs> in this case, forgetting that uh, Cavaliers can't use swords in this game. Because in all the other games, they can. Let me think. Yeah, even Shadow Dragon, they can use swords, I'm pretty sure. Definitely Game Boy. Definitely Awakening. Definitely... Well, maybe not definitely. There's a sequel to this game. And I don't know if the same mechanics and rules of Cavaliers not being able to use swords carried over. But... I think all the other games, I'm for sure, for sure, that they can normally use swords, so. I guess I shouldn't have, well, I shouldn't have skipped the uh, thing there, but whatever. I think she was just being like a mentor, just being like, hey, you okay, Ike, and whatnot. Yeah. It's just a congratulation thing to make the player feel good about their first victory. Even though I let a house burn. So it technically wasn't a victory, because I kind of failed at that. Saving the lives of many. Next chapter! Wowie! It's the end card! What a perfect time to leave a comment, hmm? As my voice plays by and the nice music in the background blares. Well, hopefully not too loud. I hope you can hear me. Hello, 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 hello. Is there an echo in here, or is it just me? <laughs> It's just me.